back in a closet, in an LT antenna. Uh, and then from that antenna, we have another piece called the Enode B, which is like the processing server for the radio, for the antenna. Uh, then we got a barber link going from here to the Alcatelucent booth. In there, they because they got more space, they have the uh, rest of the uh, EPC, the network for LTE. That then is connected itself to an IMS core, and then itself is connected to an IMS application server that supports the client. So I'm going through all this discussion because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using an IMS client, goes through LTE for the air interface, and then goes through the IMS for the service. Okay. All right. Perfect. So we have a speed dial to make it easier for demos. This is number three. So I go here. I select number three. This is a very early, early version of the client, so I just want to emphasize that because it does. This is this is a GUI. It's an early version of the GUI. So it's gonna start ringing. You can press answer if you want. Let's see. Okay. And it's gonna start downloading the video. Oh, there we go, okay. So at this point you got video and audio. The audio is lowered down because we don't wanna get feedback, but uh, one of the main aspects we wanna make sure is the video, right? So. There you are, okay. Excellent. So, as you move across, you can see, as I'm moving along, you can see the low latency. Yeah, it's moving almost real time. That's so again, the coverage in here is limited because of the antenna that we got set up. Right. right. I can hear you, I can hear you talking, well, yeah. So, we can see here, yeah. There we go. You can see yourself, maybe, right? See. Yep. Perfect. And that's uh, that's LTE voice calls on Verizon Wireless. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for continuing coverage of all things mobile from Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. We'll see you next time.